Yo, what's going on, everybody? Couple Side Green. Patch you got another video today. Today, it's going to be a little different of a review, y'all. Um, this review might surprise you guys. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? But um, first, um, I just want to get off with saying, yes, I just got done seeing Men in Black early. And uh, here's my review for it. So, I kind of want to get into some of the good parts of it first. So, the good parts, um, it had two really great actors, Tessa Thompson, I think that's how you say her name, and uh, Chris Hensworth right here. Um, they both did great. I, I, There was no times where I really felt like they didn't really want to be in the film. I really felt like they had fun while they were in the film. Um, some of the CGI was a little bit iffy. But at some points, well, it's like they're in the car. Like, Men in Black stuff. You know, when they're in the car, it looks really cool. Or when they're on the train, it looks really cool. Even their guns look really cool. And, and you know, stuff they can do from their car is really cool. Like, they can get a gun from, like, the windshield or whatever. They can uh, get get guns from the most stupidest spots. That's all cool. Um, But now I got to kind of turn it. I know, I, I turned it. Within the first minute, I know, I know. But uh, there is a whole lot I did not like about this movie, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Is this movie the most blandest movie, y'all? Holy crap. Um, The plot, bro, the plot is so terrible, bro. And it's not even that it's just terrible. It's more that it's terrible in every... Bro, they got a couple of plot twists in there, but, bro... But bro, you see this plot twist coming, dude. It's and and there was points in the movie where I'm like, okay, is this a PG movie or is this a PG thirteen movie? Because at some parts of the movie, they dropping cuss words, and then it's another part of the movie, I'm like, okay, this is like kids aspects, you know what I'm saying? So I could see how this would be a PG rated movie. And then, like I said, it's part about the cussing. And I'm like, okay, I don't know, bro, I don't know what rating this is, dog. Um, Liam's, whatever, Liam, bro, I don't, I don't know what he was doing in this movie, I don't, I don't know what, what check they cut him, I don't know what they told him, y'all, um, about, you know, maybe this being an easy movie, or, you know, something, something he could just pass his time with, I, 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 I really don't know, um, but Liam Neeson should have never, should have never even been in this, y'all, I really, there were some points where I really felt like he kind of wanted to be in there. And then there were some points where I'm like, dude, he does not want to be here, dog. I, I, it could be just me watching the movie. But Liam Neeson, bro, come on. Next time, bro, just, just don't do this, <laughs> okay? Just do, don't do this movie, dog. I, I, come on, man. You can make a Tekken 4, dog. Just don't do this again. But this, this movie, oh, my God. It, it, what frustrated me is people walked out. And I, and I say, yeah. If you're a kid, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna enjoy this movie. Uh, there's some there's some all right comedy in there. Like when the, uh, when this little kid, well, I don't know, I got I gotta pull it up. Um, holy crap, it was just up. Um, when this little thing shows up, I don't know what the frick this dude's name is. But when this little thing shows up right here, I mean he's he's cool. You know what I'm saying? He's probably, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, bro. He's one of the best parts of the film, dude. He's funny. Um, he does stuff. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I forgot where the heck I was at, dude. Liam Neeson, yeah, just, bro, make a Tekken 4, dog, instead of doing this. Um, what else did I not like about the movie? Um, it could have been way shorter than what it, what, it, what, it, what, it, what it was. Um, I don't know how long the movie was, but they could have at least shortened this by at least a good 15 minutes. Easily, they could have shortened it. It's just... It's just, it's just a lot of things. It was like, come on, bro. Like, I, I, it, it makes me question why I started liking the other movies. Now I have to go back and rewatch the ones with Will Smith in them and be like, okay, that's why I started liking the film or liking the series. Because this, bro, this one, this movie, the fourth installment, didn't do justice for me, y'all. I'm sorry, and I'm glad I saw this early um, because I've been mad. I've seen it later. Huh? But yeah, honestly, guys, I w I would definitely wait on this one. Wait till this hits DVD or I don't I don't know, but Netflix, whatever, however y'all watch your movies. Just wait on this one, y'all. This one, it, it 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 didn't do it for me, y'all. Maybe like I say, maybe if you're you're if you're younger than me, you might be able to look past all the plot 
crap and all this stuff, man. You might better look past it. But I, I just, sitting there in the, in the theater, I just couldn't look past um, a lot of stuff just going wrong. It's like, bro, this movie at, at some points didn't care, you know? They was like, look, this is our story. We're going to tell it, and y'all can't do a damn thing about it. And I just, I, come on, man. Like, I, I wish, I don't know, maybe nobody gave feedback on this movie while they were like, Writing it out, maybe, because everything, and this is, okay, this is my last point, that's my last point, I know I'm, I'm, I'm really getting into this film, this is my last point, these characters don't struggle, okay, there, there is no struggle with these characters, and that, that could be something we all agree on, y'all, there ain't no point in this film where any of these characters are gonna struggle, the girl don't struggle, Chris don't struggle, Lynn don't struggle. Nobody struggles in this film at all, bro. That that was just a big bummer for me. Where is the character development? There's none in this movie. Holy crap. Oh, she she finds the MIB. Oh, she's cool now. And she's just the smartest girl on the planet. Like, bro, come on. There's a lot of stuff that I, I just didn't. Oh, my God, bro. Uh, but, 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 yeah, I'm wrapping this thing up. Like I said, y'all, y'all. If it's if y'all going by what I'm saying, just wait on this one, y'all. You can honestly just wait on this one. I didn't enjoy this at all. But if you're a younger kid, you probably will enjoy. It. Uh, like I said, there's some funny parts in the movie, so you probably will enjoy those parts. But I just gotta ask you guys. You you guys won't. You, I didn't came out yet. But um, I gotta just ask you guys real quick. I don't I don't know if this is true or not, or what. Um, but these two. These are Beyonce's dancers. Now, I want you guys to answer me yes or no. Are these two in the movie? I, I think they are, but I'm not too sure yet. Um, but other than that, man, I like, I just, oh my God, this movie could have been so much better. It, and it really makes me wonder why I like the other movies. Because if the other movies are like this one, there's no way I can like those. But so now I gotta, now I gotta go back and rewatch the other Men in Black and be like, okay, this is why I start liking these films. But yeah, like I said, guys, I, I, I I don't know. Subscribe if you guys are new. I, I, ooh, my God. Ooh, no.